Imagine a nuclear reactor sitting on your desk right now, smaller than your computer monitor, generating enough clean energy to power your entire home forever. This isn't science fiction anymore. A Seattle company just raised $50 million to make this reality by 2027. Welcome back to Curiosity AI Podcast. I'm your host. And today, we're diving into what might be the most revolutionary energy breakthrough of our lifetime. Avalanche Energy has achieved something that seemed impossible just five years ago. They've built a fusion reactor that fits on your desk. We're talking about sustaining 300,000 volts continuously in a device smaller than a microwave. The implications are staggering. While the world debates solar panels and wind farms, these engineers just prove that unlimited clean energy can literally sit in your living room. Today we'll explore how this desktop fusion technology works, why $50 million in funding changes everything, and what this means for your energy bills, climate change, and the global balance of power. By the end of this episode, you'll understand why fusion energy just went from distant dream to immediate reality. Let me explain how they made the impossible possible. Traditional fusion reactors are massive. Think buildings the size of football stadiums, costing billions of dollars, requiring armies of scientists to operate. Avalanche Energy threw out that entire playbook. Instead of trying to recreate the sun in a building-sized chamber, they created something called an Orbitron Reactor. Picture this, high-speed ions spinning around a negatively charged center, like planets orbiting the sun, but at incredible speeds in a space no bigger than a shoebox. Here's where it gets mind-blowing. They're sustaining 300,000 volts across just two and a half inches. To put that in perspective, that's twice the voltage of lightning, contained safely in a device that could sit on your kitchen counter. The secret sauce is magnetoelectrostatic confinement. Instead of massive magnetic bottles or powerful lasers, they use precisely controlled electric and magnetic fields to squeeze hydrogen atoms together until they fuse. The result? Clean energy with no radioactive waste, no meltdown risk, and no greenhouse gas emissions. The fuel is deuterium and tritium, both forms of hydrogen. The amount needed is incredibly small. We're talking about fuel quantities so tiny that if something goes wrong, the reaction simply stops. No explosions, no contamination, just silence. The breakthrough moment came when they achieved sustained operation at 300,000 volts, this isn't just a laboratory curiosity anymore. This is commercial-grade performance in a desktop package. Think about what this means practically. The device requires only 3 watts of power to maintain fusion conditions. Your phone charger uses more energy than it takes to sustain nuclear fusion in their reactor. Once started, it generates between 1 and 100 kilowatts of clean electricity continuously. They've also secured a $10 million government grant to build Fusion Works, the first commercial fusion testing facility in Richland, Washington. This isn't just research anymore. They're building production infrastructure with tritium handling capabilities and high-flux neutron test stands. The timeline is what makes this revolutionary. Commercial availability by 2027 means we're talking about three years, not three decades. Your next car purchase might be your last before desktop fusion becomes available for your home. The engineering achievement represents years of advanced materials science. Maintaining such extreme electrical conditions continuously requires precision manufacturing measured in fractions of millimeters. Every component must withstand high voltages, vacuum conditions, and neutron bombardment while operating reliably for years. This breakthrough arrives at a critical moment in global energy competition. China invests over $3 billion annually in fusion research, compared to $800 million in the United States. The race for fusion dominance determines which country controls the next century of energy production. But Avalanche Energy's commercial approach could provide first-mover advantages that government programs can't match. While China builds massive tokamak reactors for grid-scale power, American entrepreneurs are putting fusion reactors in homes and businesses. The geopolitical implications are staggering. 
energy independence for individual households eliminates vulnerability to supply disruptions, price manipulation, and infrastructure attacks. Countries with desktop fusion technology become energy exporters rather than importers almost overnight. Consider the economic transformation. Abundant, cheap, clean energy eliminates the primary constraint on manufacturing and industrial development. Energy-intensive industries like aluminum production and steel manufacturing could relocate based on workforce availability rather than energy costs. The developing world could leapfrog traditional grid infrastructure entirely. Instead of building massive power plants and transmission lines, they could deploy distributed fusion reactors that provide reliable electricity immediately. This accelerates economic development while avoiding the environmental costs of fossil fuel infrastructure. International competition intensifies around fusion technology, export, and manufacturing. The country that achieves cost-effective mass production first gains enormous economic and strategic advantages in global energy markets. Let's talk about how this changes your daily life. A residential fusion reactor generating 5 to 50 kilowatts could eliminate your electricity bill forever. No more monthly utility payments, no more power outages during storms, no more dependence on aging grid infrastructure. Installation appears simpler than solar panels. The compact size enables basement, garage, or utility room installation without significant home modifications. Unlike solar or wind power, fusion reactors generate consistent electricity regardless of weather, season, or time of day. The economics become compelling quickly. While initial costs will be substantial, the elimination of ongoing fuel costs and minimal maintenance requirements provide long-term economic advantages. Early adopters willing to pay premium prices for energy independence could drive initial market development. Industrial applications offer immediate revenue opportunities. Data centers facing pressure to reduce carbon footprints while maintaining 24-7 operations represent ideal early customers. Manufacturing facilities in remote locations could eliminate dependence on unreliable grid connections or expensive diesel generators. Emergency services and disaster relief benefit from portable, reliable power that operates independently of damaged infrastructure. Military installations could eliminate vulnerable supply lines for fuel delivery while maintaining operational capability. The medical industry gains access to on-demand neutron production for isotope manufacturing. Current isotope shortages and aging reactor infrastructure create supply constraints that desktop fusion could address profitably while serving critical healthcare needs. The development roadmap extends far beyond initial commercial deployment. Next-generation reactor designs will achieve higher power outputs while reducing manufacturing costs through automated production and standardized components. Manufacturing scale-up focuses on mass deployment capability. As production volumes increase, costs decrease dramatically, making fusion competitive with traditional energy sources. The modular design enables customized solutions for residential, industrial, mobile, and even space applications. Integration with renewable energy systems creates hybrid power solutions that optimize cost and reliability. Solar and wind installations combined with fusion backup eliminate intermittency concerns while maximizing clean energy utilization. International expansion requires navigation of diverse regulatory environments while building local partnerships for manufacturing and service support. European markets with high energy costs and strong environmental regulations represent attractive early opportunities. Technology transfer agreements and licensing arrangements enable global deployment while generating revenue for continued development. Strategic partnerships with established energy companies facilitate market entry while building political support for fusion adoption. The fusion industry could trigger a new industrial revolution by eliminating energy costs as a manufacturing constraint. Abundant clean power enables new technologies in materials processing, carbon capture, and environmental remediation that require substantial energy inputs. 
We're witnessing the beginning of the fusion age, and it's starting not with massive government projects, but with desktop-sized reactors that could sit quietly in millions of homes worldwide. Avalanche Energy's achievement proves that breakthrough innovations can emerge from focused engineering efforts and private investment rather than only billion-dollar government programs. The 50 million in funding and 2027 timeline place practical fusion energy within reach of current decision makers. This transformation promises to be as significant as the shift from coal to oil, but with unprecedented possibility of abundant, clean energy that could sustain human civilization while healing environmental damage from previous energy sources. The fusion revolution begins in three years and it starts with a device small enough to fit on your desk, but powerful enough to change the world. What do you think? Would you install a desktop fusion reactor in your home? How do you think unlimited clean energy will change society? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more breakthrough technology stories. Until next time, keep questioning everything and stay curious.